Hi there, welcome back. Let us look at this example. 98% sulfuric acid is pumped at 4.5 tons per hour, which is 1.25 kilograms per second, through a 25 millimeter diameter pipe, 30 meter long, to a reservoir 12 meter higher than the feed point. Calculate the pressure drop in the pipeline, assuming that the pipe is mild steel with a roughness between 0.05 and 0.5 millimeters. So we are given the viscosity of the acid to be 25, density of 1840. So we are dealing with sulfuric 98% and we're also given some few parameters. Okay, let's start. Step one, it's to calculate the Reynolds number. Can be written as RE denoting Reynolds, diameter of the pipe, velocity, density, over viscosity. The velocity can be written as volumetric flow rate over area. And we know that velocity is in meters per second, volumetric flow rate is in meter cubed per second, and area is in meter squared. Density is basically mass flow rate over volumetric flow rate, which can also be written as mass flow rate over area and velocity and if you rearrange this equation it will be volumetric flow rate is equals to velocity over area so hence volumetric flow rate can be written as area times velocity we can also write or express velocity in terms of mass flow rate over mass flow rate is basically in units kg per second it's basically mass at a speed over density and area. Now that we've expressed this, we can go back to our Reynolds equation, write it in the form of... Just to remind you, we are given diameter, we are given the length to be 30 meters long, and we are given the height of 12 meters. We are given E, the roughness, between 0.05, and 0 0.5 millimeters density to be and we are also given the viscosity the fluids resistance to flow let's calculate our reynolds number 545 it does not have units this fluid its transition simply because it falls within the range different textbooks have different ranges Step two will be to calculate the relative roughness. We are given the roughness between 0.05 millimeter and 0.5 millimeter. In order to calculate the friction factors, we first have to calculate the ratio between the roughness and diameter. I'm going to calculate it at this two ranges, 0, 0, 2. This should give you 0, 0, 2. Of course, it's unitless because the units will cancel out. Step three will be to calculate the friction factor. We have the Moody chart. Friction that you extract from the Moody chart, I am going to use it representing FD. Remember, different textbooks have different connotations. To calculate the friction loss from the Moody chart, you would say with length, velocity squared, divided by two, diameter and gravitational force. To calculate the pressure loss, whereby in this scenario, the laminar friction can be calculated as 64 over Reynolds number. We also have the Carlson chart. Friction loss is expressed using 8 with the factor length over diameter viscosity squared and 2 gravitational force. 8 divided by 2 is 4. Pressure loss 
could be expressed as negative pressure loss due to friction for the factor length over diameter density velocity squared so i am going to read off my friction factor from the moody chart between the ranges if you go to your moody chart and extract you should get 0 0.0 0.058 and here you should get 0.04 the average between these two is 0.049 if you go to Carlson's chart it also tells us that this factor over here can be expressed as friction obtained from the Moody chart over 8, which is simply going to be 0 0.049, and this should give you 0 0.006. Let's first calculate our velocity, which is mass given at 1.25 kilograms per second, density, and area. My velocity is 1.38 meters per second. Finally, we should be able to calculate our pressure loss and we'll substitute into this equation here 0 0.06 Our length is 30 meters and we have a diameter of 25 times 10 to the power of minus 3 meters with a density of 1840 Velocity, which is 1.38 meters per second squared. If you punch this, I get a pressure of negative 100.918 kilopascal. I hope that makes sense. Thank you so much for watching.